Hey everyone, Kimberly here and welcome to the one word. So what is the one word that you could come up with that would help you keep your intention and your focus and your conscious pursuit for the rest of the year? So in the beginning of this year, the first half of this year, perhaps you felt tired Perhaps you felt overwhelmed, perhaps you felt stressed, perhaps you felt aimless or wandering or distracted. I mean, how many people, to be honest, to be honest, I'm going to rephrase that. How many times during the day are you not purposefully marching toward your goals? You're not being focused, you're being distracted, you are either thinking about the past, thinking about the future, hopping onto social media, hopping onto the TV, binging Netflix, I don't know. What would be the one word for the year that would be indicative of how you want the rest of your year to go? So maybe you want the rest of this year as an overall word Maybe you want the rest of this year to be intentional, conscious, aware, something that gives you the feeling that you're in control, that you're in command, that you're in charge, that you're living large, right? So what would the one word be for the entire year? And as a bonus, for your physiology, what would be a word for your physiology, your intention for the rest of this year? Maybe you want to feel energized. Maybe you want to feel strong. I don't know. What would be a word for physiology? Maybe even radiant. I don't know. That could work for physiology. What would the one word be for your psychology? Freedom, liberation, I don't know. <laughs> Something that gives you the feeling that, ah, right? You're stress-free, you're open. Psychology, what would your word be? People, what would your word be for people? So when you're interacting with people, maybe you wanna feel generous. Maybe you wanna feel kind. Maybe you want to feel helpful with people the rest of this year. Just a word that kind of guides your interactions with other people. Your projects. Maybe you wanna be disciplined. Maybe you wanna be focused. Maybe you wanna be centered. Maybe you want to be excited about your projects. I don't know. What's one word you could assign to your projects? And your purpose. You, this is you, this is your fulfillment. This is your meaning. Maybe it is fulfillment, that's your word. You wanna feel fulfilled. You wanna feel on purpose. You want to feel, you have a trajectory, right? You wanna feel like you're gonna get up in the morning and you're gonna make a difference. You're gonna get up in the morning, you're gonna follow your own path. You're gonna get up in the morning, you're gonna blaze your own trail. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a phrase, <laughs> maybe it's a phrase for purpose, but you get what I'm trying to say. What, what would remind you to feed this area of your life, to feel your fulfillment and your meaningful pursuits? Alrighty, this is very personal. This is going to maybe take more than one sit down of journaling time, <laughs> right? Maybe you want to uh, flip through the dictionary. <laughs> and try to find a word. You want to be excited. You want to be exuberant. You want to be, maybe you want something to be extraordinary. I don't know, but maybe this, using this, oh, okay. And, <laughs> and if you really want to take this a step further, write it down on a piece of paper, on a sticky note, uh, as a phone, um, <clears throat> alarm, uh, as uh, something to like to stick it on the wall, stick it on your computer, 
take a picture of it with your phone, print it out, get an actual, you know, picture, nice little glossy picture of, of your words and, and just to remind you every day, like, this is what I truly want for myself in these areas of my life. And this is going to be how I'm going to show up. This is going to be how I'm going to pursue these different areas of my life so that at the end of this year, I can tick off the box that I have lived these words. All right. Think about that. <laughs> All righty. Till next time.